Well, good morning. I'm back. It's been a while. Last time I was uh, getting ready for one of these, we were processing chickens. In the middle of it, I cut my arm. Sliced it open, cutting the chicken head off. Be careful with sharp knives out there. Anyway, uh, cut it down, went to the bone, da da da, uh, four tendons. It was in a, uh, it was in a um, brace for six weeks, and uh, it's better now. Also, I had a little uh, camera problem, and hopefully we got that fixed. Uh, some issues with, uh, some issues with the camera just shutting down in the middle, not uh, doing any, you know, not capturing anything. So I thought I'd give you a little update on where we are. I had some friends come by and help us out while I was uh, incapacitated. And they did a lot of work. Uh, thank you, John and Harley and Melinda for your assistance in that. Uh, we got a lot of the house done. That was the main focus. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a little tour and, and show you what what all's happened since and uh, where we are. So stick around, it's going to be a bit of a review and you'll find out about what we're doing here on the farm and where we are and where we're headed. See you in a bit. So let's start off at the back of the house. This is the bedroom. We finally got it finished. We used to go through the wall there to get access to the uh, utilities that were running behind the wall. Remember this is kind of a metal building uh, with slope sides and the walls inside are vertical which leaves us about three feet of triangular space behind the wall where we're running utilities, the wiring and the plumbing and all that kind of stuff. So we used to go through there. Uh, now that we get this finished, we got uh, now that we've got that finished, we sealed it up and we're ready to paint uh, in a few days as soon as we get to it. Got the lighting fixtures in. And the window. Got it trimmed in and framed out and that was uh, fun. So we've got light in here finally come back and going through the bedroom we go into a hallway and remember we're still in construction here so don't judge too harshly uh, going to the hallway we've got a little storage shelf there that is temporary it's just where we're keeping stuff uh, during construction we'll have shelves like this one here uh, running alongside uh, probably a double stack uh, there in the middle somewhere and probably a full length mirror off on the side. And we go into the bathroom. We've got it finished in. Uh, we got the tub and shower, all the accoutrement. Um, we got <clears throat> a little alcove back here for the toilet. And we come around and put a vent in the wall because remember we're going, we have that angle vent space, utility space back behind the wall. So we're going through here and through the outside wall, uh, which is kind of a wall roof because it's slanted anyway. And went through the ceiling, it would be another six feet of um, tubing, of, of vent pipe we had to run. So that was the shortest run to the outside. It's not a problem for me. I don't know if it's a problem for anyone else, but since we're the ones that are living here, it's not a problem. If you remember, we put those Zern toilets in. Uh, those are the ones that are standing on mounted on the wall. We did that in order to get a drop to the sewer outlet because the contractor that poured the slab didn't read the instructions and didn't read the uh, plans and put uh, things in the wrong place. And we had some design changes so it's not all his fault. But um, we had a problem with the drop with the the run of the plumbing and in order to get a slope from here to there we had to raise the toilet outlet up a few inches and so the solution to that was to put the uh, toilet going through the wall which gave us that drop we needed 
We got the vanity. We got this from a Habitat for Humanity Restore down in uh, St. Louis. We found uh, base and sink separate, but we kind of slapped them together. We also found this really great, re really great uh, set of mirrors up there. It was actually longer than that. It was about 13 inches longer, but uh, we took uh, it was too long for this, so we took about 13 inches out, which is the sec the width of one section, that small mirror section there. So now we got plenty of <coughs> mirror space and plenty of hopefully cabinet space uh, that. Uh, that we will be using and it's going to be hard to see but we found this cabinet it's actually an entertainment center but uh, it works in here as a linen uh, cabinet coming back <coughs> into the hallway the next room down is the laundry and it's kind of small but that's what you know is all that's needed we got it for storage uh, storing a freezer in there that we've got some long-term uh, storage and then a utility connection in the back. It's wide enough for the washer dryer that we're looking at to purchase and they'll fit in there with a few inches to spare so that's good enough. We got a tub sink here, utility sink. Yes it will be in the way when we move them in so yes we will disconnect it and move it out and then move the washer dryer in and then reinstall that not a problem. Now we'll come out in the main house it is not finished here's the uh, work in progress as it were off to the right will be the small bath and my study it's going to be my study and then we decided to add a small bath and so it became uh, the small bath again uh, we went with the mount wall mounted uh, toilets for pretty much the same reason and uh, it's there and uh, useful. On down is the back mudroom. Again, work in progress. We still need access behind the wall. And so we're going to put a little panel in here in that space. Small, kind of like a doorway that we can take off and get in when we need to. We have a on-demand hot water heater. This will is propane fired and delivers uh, a goodly amount of water. Uh, it'll uh, keep it at 140 degrees C uh, as long as we need to, as long as the water's running. So we got as much hot water as we want. We did kick it up to 140, uh, mainly because it's a long run between here and the bathtub, and uh, we just uh, we're getting too much of a temperature drop. And 125, which was the default uh, maximum setting, just wasn't getting it hot enough. Uh, so we, we kicked it up. And we don't have to worry about getting scalded or anything because we do get a, a fairly good temperature drop between here and there. Even though the PEX is insulated uh, with that uh, noodle stuff, it does cool off quite a bit. Come back in the main room again, you can see that we haven't cleaned up much. Uh, we're still in construction, still got our tools in the cubby thing there. We have added some freezers. Uh, we have three small freezers that we are keeping our chickens in, chickens and ducks, once we process them. Uh, they're about two-thirds full. So uh, we're going to be getting rid of some of them. We're eating ones every now and then as we can. Spare lumber, scrap uh, all cuts and such are being stored around the walls as usual, as needed. The wood stove is working, doing well. In this uh, cool uh, October day, it's uh, helping. We also have a propane heater that is providing a goodly amount of heat. And um, coming back around, coming out from the small bath in the hallway, we come to the kitchen. Uh, our assistants uh, were able to get up the drywall around the kitchen and over to the front mudroom. Um, and they've got that drywall mudded, painted, and ready to go. We also got this island put in place. 
it's uh, all the way down the center. We picked up base cabinets from Habitat for Humanity and dropped them in and we will be uh, refinishing those later on. And you can see the back here. Uh, yes, there is a drop, a change in elevation and that is so when we use uh, kitchen appliances that stick up a little high we can drop them down and uh, and don't have to reach up and over the appliance to, to work with it. Room for a dishwasher. And we got the front window in. That's where the air conditioner used to be. And we cut that out and put the window in. And it's the same as the one on the other side. So they match, which is nice in the front of a house. So the front mudroom is pretty much finished and you can see there's a little light up there we're using it again for storage as we bring produce in dropping it off here we don't have any place in the kitchen to store it so putting it there and then the air compressor is in use and working outside setting up uh, some stuff for the chickens building a new coop for them winter coop for them and again the doors we got pre-hung from Habitat for Humanity and they they're pretty nice. Uh, I kind of like that uh, that front door there. So that's the inside, and yes, it is a mess, and yes, it is messy and cluttered, and yes, we are in the middle of construction, so not too worried about it. You can see back there that a light has fallen down, and up just. Uh, a little further to the to the right where some insulation has fallen down and I cannot get the scaffolding back there at this time to put it up so they are staying the way they are for the moment but that's on the list and along with a bunch of other stuff our drywall contractors that we paid a bunch of money for about nine months ago have not shown up to finish what they started so we had to take care of what well, we had to we were hoping to get moved in here but then we decided well if we're going to have contractors coming in and they're going to be making a big mess so let's hold off on on doing that until we get uh, get the at least the drywall up and in place not sure what we're going to do about the the contractors we paid all the money for uh, we sent them several messages and basically they said well with the COVID crisis uh, they ran out of money and they've got to get some more jobs to make money to pay their people to come uh, not only do their the jobs the new jobs but also save up to pay them to come do our jobs so we will probably be suing uh, those contractors uh, and finding some new ones but until we get some money saved up uh, or recover money from the old ones we're kind of going to be stuck where we are anyway if uh, you want to hear about the further ongoing trials and tribulations of what's happening out here hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to see more uh, be sure to hit the notify bell so you'll see it when it comes out and if you like what you see on the channel uh, please tell your friends tell your neighbors and have them stop by as well we will talk to you later bye